Right then, in this quick extra video this week, we're gonna have a look at these. Right then, a bit of an unusual video for me. Um, I got contacted by this company called Eric Hill that wanted me to test and review their moisture meters. Now, I normally don't do this kind of stuff because what happens is I actually have quite a lot of companies who contact me uh, when they're trying to get stuff into Ireland for wood turning and stuff. Um, but... What happens is, would you like to review our product and you can keep the product at the end of it, which is exactly what they said. Um, and I'll email them back. Yeah, sure, no problem. I'll review your product, but um, it's going to be an honest review. If I don't like the thing, I'm going to say it. If I there's something about it I don't like, I'm going to say it. If there's a problem with it, I'm going to say it. Normally what happens is I'll get an email back going, no, you're all right. Um, we only let people who guarantee to say good stuff about our equipment review it because basically you're getting free stuff so payback is say it's good or they just ignore me completely these guys emailed me back and said grant review it if you don't like it say it if there's something wrong with it say it so that's the only reason i've actually agreed to do this one but right so basically um, there are two moisture meters, right? Now, um, now, sorry about that cut. I've been testing these for the last couple of days and I wrote some stuff down about them and I left a piece of paper in the house so I had to go in and get it. Right then. As I said, two moisture meters, right? There's the EWM01 and there's the EWM03, right? Now, they come very handily with batteries in the box so it can just be used straight away All right. that's the L3 and it comes with a little book right. that's the L1 and yet again it comes with a little book now something else I'm going to go into is people use these things wrong and especially new turners really have the wrong idea in their head about this. Right. Uh, a moisture meter will measure how wet wood is down as far as the probes. Right. This is my standard moisture meter. I've been using it for years. Right. As far as deep in as you can get those probes, that is how deep you can measure for moisture. Right. Now, these two, they look kind of different and they are. In my opinion, this is the better machine. Right. Um, for a couple of reasons. Right. Start off with the books. Right. In this one, right, there is a list. Right. It's a material comparison table. It tells you what setting to put this machine on. Um for what you're doing right now it turns on really easily right push that right it turns on and this is your settings button there's a little figure hopefully the camera will pick this up right if you watch here right that figure changes that's the setting figure right now it's like material like setting one uh, we can get to it right, yeah, right. right setting one is for teak bean trees Brazilian walnut material two there'd be walnut and popular and teak right and there's a list in here right it's a one page list and it will go through all the woods and it also does bricks right as I said it's a one page list and that's about it for this machine right now i'll test them and stuff and tell you how to use them properly right this machine on the other hand right if you go to the back of the book there is a comprehensive list 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages of different woods. And the correct setting for the machine is with those, is in those, right? Um, it's important to have the correct setting on a moisture meter because depending on the density of the wood, it changes, right? The reading you get is gonna change, right? Now, this is a piece of oak. It's always in here. It's always in the workshop, right? Now, where people make mistakes when they're using these machines is they will have read somewhere that you should turn at 10% or you should turn at 8%. That's not right. Your workshop has an ambient moisture level, right? If your workshop's an ambient moisture level is 12, right? And I, I know, depending on the weather, the ambient, the ambient moisture level in this workshop is between 10 and 14. If it's less and rain outside, and it has been for a week, the, the moisture level in this workshop is a 14. If it's been bone dry for a week, sun split in the skies, it's 10. Right. How you know when wood is ready to turn is it is the ambient moisture temperature in your workshop. Right. You should always keep some piece of wood in your workshop. And the only thing it's there for is to calibrate your moisture meter. Right. Which is what this piece of oak is. Right. Now, this is, as I said, this is the one I've always used. Turn it on. Turn it up to oak. Right, stick it in, and that is getting a uh, 12. Right, turn this one on. Right, now these ones have colors in them, but for us in the wood turning world, they're not really useful. They're brilliant for if you want to know if wood's soaking wet or not. Um, there's three colors there's green, there's orange, and there's red. Basically, red is soaking wet. Orange is kind of dry, green is dry. Alright, so I'll grab the book off this one. Go to the little thing in the back, which is alphabetical. Find which setting I'm supposed to be for oak. Oak is setting one. So I am on setting one. And we'll shove that one in. Alright. And this one... Now, I'd say maybe this list also works with this machine. I don't know. It doesn't say. So I'm not going to say it. Right, but... Where is the English one? Where is it? Okay. Which one of these is oak? It's a setting on this for oak. Red Rain one of our teak. Now, this is what I'm saying about the detail list in this one. Oak is not actually listed here, right? But I happen to know that oak is pre has a pretty similar resistance to walnut, right? So, setting two, and I'm going to stick it in. Now, the readings I'm getting are, right, on my standard one, it's 11.7. .7. On the middle one, it is 12.5 and on the other one it's dancing between 11.9 and 12.1 right now as i said this one i've been using for years now i can change that by pushing those probes in further because i'll get a different reading right this is now 15.2 this one's now nine and my normal one is now 12.3 right. as I said these measure these won't give you an exact answer to how dry your wood is it will give you a measure of it'll give you a guideline right but remember the thing to remember is if you're using a moisture meter it's if your ambient level 
in your workshop is a 12, you're not going to get a 10 reading because your wood will never get to a 10. Right? It's the same reason why if you turn a bowl in your workshop and it goes into somebody's house, you sell it, it goes into somebody's house and their ambient moisture level in their house is drier, the bowl moves. It's the same reason. I have that written on a card that um, your wood work, that this is a live torn bowl and uh, it will move depending on the moisture level in your house. I actually have that written on a card and I handed it to everybody. Right, now my thoughts on these. They both do the job they're meant to, right? This one seems to be more accurate, right? The 01, right? Seems to be more accurate. It's a handy shape, it'll fit in your pocket. Right, it's like a pen, throw it in the car if you're going out to get wood. Like as one of my suppliers um is uh an industrial sawmill and he kiln dries all his wood, right? It goes through a sauna force. I've gone through this before about how you should actually dry wood that you've got to keep the moisture levels up at the start and then you can drop them, right? Um I've been using this one for years. This one I'm just going to keep in the car for when I go up to him, right? And this one is going somewhere, right? I said, very handy. This one, just for the comprehensive list that's in its book, is worth it, right? And um, there's a setting for each type of wood. This one will do the job fine, right? As I said, it, the, it gives you an idea it's not perfect unless you can get probes there's there's actually if you ever seen an industrial motor meter pat has one that's the guy i go to for this right there's a probe on one side the two probes are on wires there's a probe on one side there's a probe on the other and it goes in each side of the wood like one probe will go in here and one probe will go there and it gives you a measurement across the whole wood the standard moisture meters we use in workshops are not going to do that that thing costs thousands the the one pat uses Right. Now, as I said, um, the grand the build quality on them, I have to say, is very good. Right. That's that's a really strong, heavy one, right? But the build quality on these is pretty good. This one kind of has a grippy rubber casing on it. This one's standard plastic. Um, right, they are available on Amazon.co.uk and AliExpress. Um I have a question in with um Eric Hill, the place that makes this, right? Are they available on any other Amazon apart from the UK one? Because as we all know in Europe, since Brexit came in, um getting anything from England costs time and a half the price because you have to pay for import duties and VAT rates and everything else. Right, if they come back to me and say that they are available somewhere else, I'll put it in the description below. All right, now if you get them on Amazon.co.uk, the EM, there are the EWM01, which is this one. Right, there is a 15% off voucher on the Amazon, on the Amazon, no, sorry, it's this one. Yeah, this is the old one. Um, there's a 15% off voucher on the Amazon product page, right? Basically, you get 15% off the price that's there if you put the code in, right? And on this one, there's a lightning deal. Now, I don't know how long this lightning deal is going to last, right? But you can buy it with 20% off on this lightning deal, right? Um, would I recommend them? Yeah, they do the job. But as with any other moisture meter, small handheld moisture meter, don't expect miracles because you're not going to get them, right? They give you an idea of where you of what your wood is, right? Um, Eric Hill are on Instagram and Facebook. I will stick a link below to both of those. Right? Uh, as I said, the only reason I'm doing this is because. 
they agreed that if I say this stuff is terrible, then I'm going to say it. Right? Uh, the thing is, it's not terrible. It does the job it's meant to do. And if you need a moisture meter, if you want one, I would definitely recommend this, either of these two. This one being the better one, right? The O1 being the better one than the O3. Uh, but then again, that's just my opinion, right? So uh, that's about all I have to say about these. They're fine. They work. Not a bad investment. They're under 20 euro, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Full price is under 20 euro. And with the two codes, you'll get them very cheap at the moment. I don't know how long those codes are going to last, especially that lightning one. But yes, if you're looking for a moisture meter, definitely I would grab one of these. They work fine. So if you enjoyed that again, and if you wouldn't mind clicking a like on the video. As I said, it's just an extra video just to review these. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.